Yes, and we're live once more moving forward. We are ones, walking with ones, but true 11 in this power state as the united vegetarians, as activationist, activisionist, elementalist, ones, walking with ones, but united vegetarians as the true 11. Today's topic is the future uplink. The future uplink. Let's break up the word uplink. Uplink. Exactly what uh, are you linking into or what are you linking up to as far as uh, the uplink? Because, like, you know, when you break up the word uplink from an elevated point of view and perspective, we are linking in or becoming one with the source. Linking in and becoming one with the source as far as just what is the progenitor to everything that is created as far as planets, galaxies, stars, worm, wormholes, black holes, whatever. But we're talking about what created everything or what is the source, us us being aligned to that source. We and we figured out what the source is. We figured out what the source is. We are the source. All oh, that might be cock, cocky and, and arrogant and you know, who do you think you are? Who do y'all think y'all are? But we are the source. We are the source. And being able to align with the source, it all makes sense. <clears throat> Everything is a reflection of power and energy that further, you know, what, and, and how I understand, how I bring forth uplinking is the pro projection aspect of projectional energy or energy that is or <clears throat> the energy that's being sent into these into these upper or in to these dimensions as far as from 13d on down as far as from the 13th dimension on down so you have the uh uplinking or the uploading of intelligence you can say uplink or uploading but we're saying when it comes to uh, uplinking like i said our our universal coming into I guess that that state of of oneness that's how further how we are able to collectively uplink into the fourth dimension or to these upper and outer dimensions so other than that like I said today's topic is a future uplink just to like run it by you guys one more time but the aspect of the future uplink deals with us going going well beyond downloading or like I said focusing on information which is the past and present but us being able to upload or project sending out signals to other ones in other parts of our solar system galaxy other planets but us up uplinking or sending out that signal or sending out because up, up is out going beyond the so-called third dimension into the fourth dimension the fifth six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen d and on on out so my hands going going outside of the frame breaking breaking out the frame or the parameters of the voids of creations which we're heading towards which we are aligned with the source outside of the voids of creations which is omni intelligence it's the omni intelligence the omni or the source <clears throat> a source for the multitude or the multiple voids of creations with intelligence and power the multitude of galaxies universes that act as a a power powerhouses generators but these uh giant yeah giant giant reservoirs of, of power seeding and feeding the microcosms as far as just life forms and planets you know it's just a non-stop continuous chain chain of, of of power over transforming and transferring of power from 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 macro or from ele macro to macro and then to micro we talked about the microverse and how that's also a factor 
as far as for the future, check out Brett the AF1 for a lot of uh, intel like that. Uh, talking about the microverse, talked about it several times, but like I said, he's got a lot of extensive uh, intel videos on the microverse as far as his uh, old, older intel videos on his channel. Check out Vegetarians AF1. <clears throat> that is Vegetarians AF1 here or on YouTube once you watch this uh, live, but yeah, check him out on um, YouTube as Vegetarians. Vegetarians AF1. So other than that, moving forward, we are going to keep elevating as the collective, being one, walking with one. Like I said, 2024 being the year of the the eight as far as us walking into the fourth dimension, but us further continuously breaking out, breaking out into more elevated experiences. Elevate, like I said, as far as our connection and our foresight, being able to have that vision. We have the future intelligence or the future experiences being played out, being uplinked or being uploaded to our minds. Or like I said, us being able to receive the charge, those blueprints, how to maneuver and navigate this world moving forward, or this planet moving forward, 2024 and beyond. So a lot of things that we talked about, like I said, as far as just us coming into the collective uh, council aspect because we cultivate more power we've been able to cultivate and collect a lot more of the so-called radiance or the intel because of like i said the more activated minds and souls in alignment the more elevated our intelligence becomes the more sharper the more elevated our magnetic frequency and power becomes so and then the more obviously the more elevated our uplinking like i said our uplinking is us sending out these signals telepathic signals these tele telepathic aka elevated telepathic signals to other ones walking with 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 ones and so forth whether it be in this universe other universes galaxies like i said just just the aspect like i said of that much elevated power and radiance that is and frequencies being felt through it. Just think. We don't know how much energy we're putting out as far as this planet or our uh, star system. But like I said, you know, we don't know what the outside looking in is is seeing when they look at the so-called Milky Way galaxy or like, you know, all all aspects of what they try to show us on, on the internet like I said you know it's, it's partially fabricated a lot of CGI a lot of uh, you know high high definition high resolution you know edits cameras but we'll never truly know the entirety of what our universe looks like because of how massive and expansive it is let alone our galaxy and other galaxies <laughs> that's imagine the universe come on we we to, to be able to travel from, well, like I said, with portals is one thing, but we're thinking, talking about spaceships, you know, spaceships will not be able to make that journey or that, that trip. That's why they have to make rovers because of how expansive space is, the outer spaces are. So, uh, yes, uh, the future uplink, because we are, how I want to say, as an example of the sun rays, you know, the sun rays, like uplinks or the different uh, facets of radiance or rays that hits the planet but what is it doing those, those rays are doing what impacting the planet <clears throat> a lot of the uplinks or a lot of the uploads that we've received definitely has impacted our course and direction on our journeys going from being a zero to being a one going from being looped as a zero mentally soulfully or spiritually and physically to being elevated or activated mentally and soulfully moving forward raising upper and outer dimensionally <coughs> so you got the path of power matics path matics but moving forward you know there has to be that linear progression Woo. Woo. Yeah, it's been 
raining out here these past couple of days. So on and off. Y'all know y'all heard about what's happening in California. So we're up here as Nevada. Yeah, over here in Nevada getting all of this rain. This it's been raining nonstop. Looking like and feeling like what? Seattle, <laughs> Washington, like it like we up north. But it's been warm, getting warmer and warmer. But it's it's supposed to be cold around this time, so <clears throat> it's, it's getting warmer and warmer with so called shifts taking place. So little, other than that, like I said, you know, we're further aligning and elevating as ones, walking with ones, being the council. So <clears throat> Uh, other than that, like I said, you have to sit up here and, you know, keep on moving forward, bringing forth more awareness. And like I said, when it comes to the council, or like I said, through the aspect of solar energy, that's the future movement, or that's, that's what's next. So, yeah, today's topic is future uplink. Like I said, these videos, these lives are not for, you know, regular people, people who are still looking to be entertained. We didn't come here to entertain. We came here to give you all a message, leaving you all messages, breadcrumbs here and there. But I mean, it's not really breadcrumbs if, if you actually listen to the lives entirely. And like, for example, if you made it to this point, if you actually made it to this point in the live, then that, that goes to show you that you're actually a one or that you actually are wanting to hear us out and hear what we have to say. Or you understand that there's a possibility, but you can extend your mind by watching these lives videos but well but I, I'll say I say to you all who actually watch the videos and lives you know what's next when you guys reach out to us will you still hide in the shadows or keep picking through the blinds but not actually saying anything not actually wanting to be a part of something be be actionary so yes other than that we are Wands, walking with wands, but true 11 in this power state, bringing forth equality, we turn 11 horizontally, what does it make? The equal symbol for us being all equal, being leaders, walking with leaders, so, like I said, 11, 11, you know, we're not pushing it, talking about it from a spiritual standpoint, from a soulful, an elevated soulful standpoint, it's portal time, it's, it's time, like I said, that's, that's what's next, because when we come together, we, we form a portal, or we step outside of the old world as an individual and coming to this new and next reality as a collective it is like walking in, walking through a portal because before you know you it this this wasn't a reality but now it's becoming more and more of a reality as we keep on working together and staying aligned and nobody can refute that we've been going strong for the last what well, well over four or five years <coughs> me on YouTube for about eight years so just constantly bringing forth awareness documenting my growth archiving what I've been able to pull in attract because because of my my uh, energy aka when it precedes me or goes beyond me it's my outer G that's felt my radiance my solar aura field or my solar aura shield that that's being felt because I am a activated radiant being activated radiant mind radiant soul being and yes when it's time to get turned up aka to raise the volume up physically mentally and soulfully then oh yeah it's <laughs> lights begin to flicker a lot of things you know not so random occurrences have happened in our lives because of our power that we have being able to manipulate our surroundings being able to adapt like that chameleon like those reptilians we can adapt and shift blend in because to survive in such a harsh place like the second dimension and the third dimension you had to be able to adapt you had to be able to maneuver and blend in stay like I said staying on one accord maintaining the so called flow or staying within the bound, you know, staying with the confines of the flow of power. Never be venturing or veering away, but always wanting to explore, but always within the guidelines of with intelligence. Peace, power, soul to you all. We are one, spoken with ones as activationists, activationists, a quick, quick live.
nothing to it like I said 30 40 minute live but other than that a lot to fully be receiving in these days of time right now it's raining outside but we're still able to receive a lot of people are like oh you know I can't receive right now it's, it's raining and my signals being blocked and all that and fuck the excuses we can receive through like I said we could be underground we could be in water in direct sunlight obviously we can receive intelligence but it doesn't matter where we're at we could be up on Mount Everest well over 16,000 feet out to and, and still receive intelligence still receive the charge still project or still uplink or upload out into the vastness of this so-called land so much power so much elevated activation moving forward <clears throat> so much power so much elevated activation as far as of the minds and souls of the true people or the elect chosen ones the elect chosen ones the elect 200 rising we are ones walking with ones we're going to keep on pushing pushing power or pushing forth this nuclear energy we are put throwing a uh, soul bombs not spirit bombs from goku uh dragon ball z for all my dragon ball z fans we throwing spirit uh excuse me soul bombs projecting out the radiance the energy or energy uplinking uploading being ones walking with ones excuse the noise it's like i said it's too much power over here <laughs> all this man <laughs> all of this rain out here people don't know how to drive a lot of flash flooding going on out here but you know typical day rain, rainy day in vegas but other than that we're going to keep on elevating moving ahead straight forward not looking backwards but always looking ahead aware of what's what's to come so other than that, uh, how can I say that? You know, the future uplink. We're not talking about downlinking or downlinks or downloads because downloads is still talking about information and it's redundant, it's burnt out, it's watered down, it's meant to be modernized, but it's not going to actually move things forward because it doesn't extend beyond what doctrine, it doesn't extend beyond the books, religion, spirituality consciousness, being woke, pan-Africanism, Egyptology, Kemeticism, and all the other so-called new and upcoming informational, informational movements. The informational movements are meant to do what? Inform your mental, alter your connection, aka to be able to uplink, to be able to upload, to be able to reach to other ones out in the upper and outer dimensions and within the so-called space that we're in, the universe, the star systems and whatnot. So going above and beyond all aspects of what? That worldly mind frame because you have to break, you have to rid yourself of that worldly mind frame fully to be able to have such a powerful connection that we have being aligned as ones, walking ones, that unified uplink the unified uplinking or the unified uploading through our radiance, through our soul power, through, through us being the, the true 11s, balance, equality, not ones that control or manipulate zeros like slaves and millions. How can we say that? Basically, yeah, that's what it is. The 10 frequency, which we call it, but we're saying that we're on the 11 frequency. The 11 as far as elevators, elevating, expanding growing we're not here to loop we're not here to keep you all how I want to say yeah going in circles the loop process ones that control or loop zeros but we're saying that we're neos we don't need zeros we don't need zeros to have power or to have that illusion of having power being able to control people, to, to dupe them, with to say finesse, finessing them, controlling them, playing, playing on their mental illnesses to do what? To gain power or to gain whatever you want from them. But the control is the so-called, what's it called? It's like an egomaniacal or people that, that they call them egomaniacs. Egomaniacal. You know, just, just the fact is that they they are like parasites, leaders of vultures. Shout out to Brother AF1 over there, Futurians at uh, AF1 channel on YouTube and on here on YouTube, his name is, I mean on in Instagram or Meta, is, his name is uh, AF1 
Christian So other than moving forward, we're going to keep on elevating and keep on walking forward, not walking backwards, not side to side, not dragging our feet, lollygagging, but we're actually moving ahead, gradually walking through new and next doors. But they're not revolving doors. They're, you know, you go in and there's no going back. <laughs> one way in and no, and like I said, one way in and one way out. That's it. But no going backwards. <laughs> Why do we go backwards? Especially when we know that there's nothing backwards for us or for us being going backwards or focusing on things that we can't control that happen in the past and present. So. Other than that, like I said, we're going to keep on moving forward. We're going to keep on elevating as activationists, activationists, ones, spoken ones. Uh, yes, but future uplink. But future uplink is today's topic. So, um, yeah, this quick, quick live. Going to keep on giving you all more uh, intel over time. Like I said, you know, but there will come a time where this, you know, will come to an end. And there will be new next things that will come out of this that will sprout, elevate, and like I said, cultivate the next minds, the next souls, because we're not about social media, especially being future minds, future souls. What do we have to prove? I'm not saying that we were proving anything to anybody, but that's what a lot of people are on the internet for. They're 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 out to prove something, or it's it's like I said, ego and uh, prideful driven. So yeah, peace, power, soul, elevated activation to us as the council. That is uh, brother Raku Omega Yui, brother AF One Futuritarian, and like I said, our sister sister Kimberly Elizabeth, and I am our soul our new clear future ray raising again our soul our new clear future ray raising. So going beyond the voids of creations to become the omni source. That's that's the future uplink coming outside of what was created. Which means that we go outside of the created realm, or what is known as, uh, yeah, creation. Going outside the realm of creation, or the space of creation, if that makes sense, just to be clear. Because souls were created within the void of creations. But the source itself, us being the source, our what makes us us, the energy that makes us us, was not created within the void of creation. Or us being the source outside of the void of creations. You know, we don't have, there's no origin. There is no origin because we've always been as far as just power. People want to sit up there and try to confuse people talking about, oh, Jesus and God and all these different deities, but no. Outer G. The outer Gs became energy, or the outer Gs created the energies through projection and uplinking, or sending out signals, codes, frequencies that manipulated dark matter, or that manipulated the so-called canvases, which is the fabric for universes galaxies, the voids of creations, which you had to have dark matter, those pockets, or the magnitude of just dark matter in general. So I hope, the, hope this is, of course, this is not going to register to a lot of people who are still stuck on information, because information is not topping what we're talking about. I'm not saying that we care about it trying to top us but or beat us, but no. We're saying that it's about extending the minds of the chosen ones, the elect chosen ones, the elect 200 rising, us being ones, working with ones. So, yeah, we don't have support except for those over here who are part of the council. But, yeah, you know, we don't have such a large following because we're not pushing forth drama. We're not pushing forth goofy and a lot of things that are meant to keep your mind lackadaisical. Not, you know, like a nonchalant mind frame. 
oh, I don't care. Oh, I know my neighborhood's fucked up, but oh, I don't care. I don't have no power. I don't have no control. Let me, you know, let me do this. Let me just focus on myself and you see what's happening around us. With decline, with decaying of the falling of the old world. I'm not saying that we supported the old world, but the fact that it's falling in, a lot of these people don't have anything else to put in place for it. A lot of these, these so-called gods and goddesses and sea stars and, and brothers, they don't have anything else to substitute or bring forth primary to replace what basically is, is falling or declining. That, like I said, we said that it's the newtopia, the next foundation. Because we had to further become coming to a balanced state as far as the physical, the mind and soul simultaneously. And walking into the fourth dimension physically is that so called next step. Or that's how that plays out. Walking into the fourth dimension. Not sitting up here trying to, oh, I, I think we're. We're in the eighth dimension, or I feel like we're in the ninth dimension today, or tenth dimension today. No, it's ones walking with ones simultaneously through these gateways and portals. That's what's next. That's that's further how we uplink because we're uplinking or uploading ourselves through these portals and gateways. As like I said, we're sending out signals, but we're also being able to project so we're like it's like we're ray, ray cloning or light cloning ourselves or being able to project ourselves our souls and selves into these vastness or these vast uh, spaces and places well, well beyond here but future uplink that's today's topic once more breaking up the word uplink I said before, it's like sending out a signal or projecting something out, projecting energy frequencies out into an intended direction. So there's a, there's a intended purpose, aka why we're doing what we're doing. There's a direction where we're going out, upward and outer dimensionally upper and outer dimensionally and outside of all dimensions of of creations of creation of space but becoming what I guess can be comprehended as uh, uncreated or going back to the source state going back to the omni state the all state the true power state which we're talking about not talking about, uh, yeah, we got to go to the 144th dimension. Just making up a lot of just people just make up a lot of stuff, and if they don't have anything to. Not, not saying that people say the same thing about us that we don't have anything to back it up, but with us, logic and rationale outweighs needing to to sit up there and Google and needing to sit up there and research because no logic and rationale. For example, we don't have to Google, we don't have to look up online to know that the so-called uh, moon landings were faked. We don't have to sit up here, we don't have to sit up there and Google. I mean, we might have found out years later on these platforms, but of course, other things like, you know, it's, a, it's like a whole bunch of other things that we, you know, naturally became aware of or privy to, like I said before, having to utilize these platforms for one like I said you know when it came to uh, like I said, just, just certain things in the past just like I said you know there were signs of us being activated or aware when we were basically not fully mentally and so be activated but like I said just just being different but being in sync or being yeah being in sync with our surroundings or being aligned with, with our surroundings and more so just nature but like I said, if, if you live in the city, like I said, you know, you, you're obviously uh, aware of your surroundings and like the city or whatnot. But just, just like I said, knowing your surroundings, knowing, knowing your, uh, just basically knowing your place as well as figuring out your purpose. And that's what this journey has been about. Like, I mean, that's what, basically what the journey has been about. 
learning, uh, what did I say? Figure out our purpose and learning something. Yeah, learning and figure, figure, figure out our purpose. Yeah, learning what we, learning what we, learning what we uh, fit in or stand in, and figuring out our purposes. And like I say, everyone's purpose is different. But moving forward, um, all I have to say is just we're gonna keep on elevating and walking forward as ones, walking ones. Uh, it's just more receiving to do, just more pulling in, and like I said, more more walking together or more working together, uniting as elevated souls, elevated frequencies, and power. So we are the council. Today's topic was a future uplink, a future uplink moving forward accelerating or activating the minds and souls of the elect chosen ones or the elect 200 rising which we are we call ourselves the 200 rising not the 200 fallen or the fallen angels because we're not mentally and so we fallen anymore we're not oblivious to who we once were and who we're going to be moving forward no longer being oblivious once more no longer being oblivious to our power, our uniqueness, our abilities to uplink, radiate power or radiate that energy, shifting the minds, people around us, altering, altering and shifting our surroundings. So other than that, moving forward, we're going to keep elevating as activationist, activationist, ones, working with ones, elementalist, as for united fugitarians peace power so until next time we are one we are ones there's nowhere to hide when the future is coming your way there's nowhere to hide when the future is calling your name you must abide there's nowhere to hide one